Hi there, welcome back. This is the second video in the Orange County, California golf vacation series. If you've missed any of the videos before, I will include a link in the description below. Last, we reviewed the Aurora Tribuco Golf Club. And as I mentioned, they set the bar pretty high. This week, we're reviewing the Oak Creek Golf Club and I'm still leaving Aurora Tribuco at the top of my list, but I'll let you be your own judge. Oak Creek is located in the city of Irvine, easy to access off the 405 freeway or the 5 freeway using the Jeffrey exit. I'm gonna include a link to their website below. It's very informative and it has a whole by whole computer generated flyover. So it's pretty cool. You'll have to check it out. The entrance was very pretty and the backdrop and the pro shop, they're right up front. The pro shop was small, but it looked like it was well equipped with all of the golf essentials. The staff, both in the pro shop and at the backdrop were all very friendly and super helpful. They got us all checked in and sent us off to the driving range. We paid $80 each, which included our round and our, our golf cart. But this was because we didn't tee off until 3.30 in the afternoon. The rates at this course seem high to me. Depending on when you, you book your tee time, it could be upwards of $200. The carts, they were interesting. I hate to be negative, but I don't want you to be surprised if you play this course based on watching this video. So I'm gonna be honest. They did have coolers, they had GPS, they had windshields, they had a ball cleaner, and the coolers even had two bottles of water for us, which was great. But the coolers were dirty, and I wouldn't put my clubs in that ball cleaner. Nope. The carts in general were in bad shape we had to muscle them to turn them and we could not get our brake to set so one of us had to be in the cart to keep our foot on the brake if we were parked on a slope i thought maybe it was just our cart we had unlucky number 60 but it wasn't the second cart in our group was having the same issues we were one of the best features of this course is the practice facilities. They have a beautiful chipping range. They have a practice putting green, of course, and their driving range is lovely. They even have lights for night practice, which is great. The starter was really nice, and he let us tee off a little bit early because we didn't have anybody in front of us. The pace was perfect all day. I'll include a link to the scorecard in the description below. This course was easy to navigate. Um, each of the holes were clearly marked on the golf cart path. This course would be a good course to walk. It's fairly compact. There are no restrooms on the front nine. You do pass the clubhouse when you go to hole 10. And there was a restroom on hole 13. A concession cart comes around, we saw her a couple of times, and for all your beverage and snack needs. The tea boxes were pretty typical. I've become such a tea box snob. They were a little rough. There was a couple of holes where we had to do some hiking through tall grass to get to the ladies' tea boxes. The fairways we found on many of the holes we're pretty forgiving. It's pretty flat course. We didn't deal a lot with elevation changes. The course is surrounded by natural foliage. So if you miss the fairway, there's a good chance you've lost your ball. Bring extra balls. Good news, there are no houses on this course. There are plenty of hazards on this course. There's water and there's lots of bunkers but the bunkers actually have sand in them, white fluffy sand, it was great. Bunkers also had rakes. 
funny, they tell you don't pull the flags, but it's okay to touch the rakes. Really. The greens were fine, some better than others. We found that they were very firm and very fast. You do a fair amount of walking on this course. There are some holes that you have a hike to the greens from the cart path. We did manage to get 18 in. We were rushing on the last couple of holes, but that was due to our late tea time. This course is beautiful and it's fairly well maintained. I feel like the Irvine location is what makes the rate so high. After our round, we were ready for a meal, but unfortunately the restaurant is closed. When we asked about it, the staff said that they were looking for a third party to take it over and they hoped it would reopen soon. The building and the outdoor patio looked beautiful. It would be a fabulous place to end around with a cocktail and some appetizers. The course location is so close to the Irvine spectrum that we just went over there. There are lots of good restaurant options in the Irvine spectrum. One of our favorites is there, Javier's. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. A really fun thing to do in Orange County is to take a bike ride along the coast. There's a trail that runs from Sunset Beach all the way to Newport Beach. Most of it is off the street. There are a couple of places where you have to share the road with the cars, but for most of it, it's right on the beach. We love to use electric bikes. I know, lazy. Honestly, there's no hills or very slight hills. So using a regular bike is great. One thing to keep in mind that if you're riding in the afternoon, breeze picks up and if you're heading west, you're going to be riding into the wind and then you'll be wishing you had an electric bike. There are many good restaurants along the way and some really fun stores to shop at. If you make the ride on the weekend, at the beginning of the pier in Huntington Beach, there is an outdoor craft fair that has some really unique items. There is also a drummer's circle that plays most weekends. If you're hungry and you're looking for a good restaurant, casual or not, you can't go wrong at Pacific City. Pacific City is located just east or south of the pier in Huntington. Our favorite restaurants in Pacific City are Ola, Bear Flag, Simsy's, Backhouse, all really good food and they all have ocean views. If you're worried about being too casual in Huntington Beach, impossible. Huntington Beach is very laid back. It's a huge city with a very small town feel. Like any city, our main street does have some homeless, not a lot. And there is a definite police presence around keeping everyone safe. Downtown Huntington Beach, you will notice there's not a lot of, if any, well, maybe one chain restaurants. Most of the restaurants you'll find are family owned and operated by people that have lived here all their lives. To rent bikes, there are lots of options and you can rent, there are all kinds of wheeled contraptions that you can rent. It's hilarious. There's a few right on the beach on the boardwalk and then there's a bunch up in the numbered streets. I hope you'll come to Orange County and check it out. There's beautiful golf courses and lots of fun things to do. Next up, we're headed to the Navy course. And I had to include the Navy course just because this is the course where Tiger Woods grew up. So it's kind of an iconic golf course. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.